Thanks for stopping by. I'm Virgil Ricks and this is Two Minute Classroom. Today we're talking about motion. Specifically, we're talking about speed, velocity, and acceleration. And let's clear up a few things right off the bat. First of all, speed and velocity are different. And acceleration is much more than just speeding up. Speed is the rate at which something changes its position. It's represented as distance over time. Miles per hour, kilometers per hour, meters per second, these are all examples of the units for speed. So if you're driving in your car at 72 miles per hour, then that's your speed. In fact, it's your instantaneous speed, or your speed in that exact moment. If you get to the end of your trip and realize that it took you two hours to drive 120 miles, then your overall speed was 60 miles per hour. And this is also known as your average speed. Velocity is a lot like speed, except for one important difference. It's a vector, which means it has a direction attached to it. So while your speed may have been 72 miles per hour, your velocity was 72 miles per hour east, or 72 miles per hour towards the beach. There just has to be some direction attached to the speed to make it a velocity. With that knowledge in hand, you're now ready to understand acceleration, which is simply the rate at which velocity changes. It's represented as distance per time per time, or distance per time squared. Uh, for example, meters per second squared are common units for acceleration. Anytime you change your velocity, you are accelerating. That can be speeding up or slowing down, which is also known as negative acceleration. But direction is also a component of velocity. So when you change your direction, even if your speed doesn't change, you are accelerating. Does that blow your mind? All right, let's recap. Speed is the rate at which something moves, distance over time. Velocity is speed with a direction, so distance over time with a specific direction. And acceleration, the king of them all, is distance over time squared, or the rate at which velocity changes. So whether you're speeding up, slowing down, or changing directions, you're changing your velocity and thus accelerating. Science is so cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to throw any comments below, whether it be questions, criticisms, or just idle chit chat, I'd love to hear it. Don't forget to watch and share my other videos, and I'll catch you next time.